Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch with another wonderful free tool to add to your game development arsenal. And this one is for making skyboxes. It's a skybox generated from Blockade Lab, and you can see one in action. Let me just turn on the auto pan skybox option here, and you're going to see the default vista that is generated. Now this is an AI driven tool. You send in a text based prompt, and it generates game ready skyboxes. Now sometimes the results are amazing, sometimes the results are less amazing, but if you've never encountered skyboxes before. I don't think you've ever played a video game. This has been a, a common way for the last 15 years to just kind of give the illusion of almost an infinite level of depth. Have you ever played a game like, um, let's say, uh, Dark Souls, something along those lines? You've definitely run into skyboxes, but I, I imagine Horizon Zero Dawn, pretty much any game that's massive and open world, is using a skybox in some form. It just gives you the, the illusion of a lot more going on than is in reality there. So let's just, by the way, you can click in here and speed things up as much as you wish. Now let's go ahead and generate our own. So if I click this guy right here, we get brought over to this screen. I'll explain exactly what this is in just a second, but first, let's go ahead and do a demo. So, um, uh, a vista of snowy mountains with light lightning filling the skies. Actually, no, plural sky, the sky. And then you see over here, you've got a number of different options for the art style. So you could do this as surreal, nebula, pen and ink, cartoon, claymation, uh, all kinds of different uh, inputs for how you'd like to go ahead and create it. Uh, I'll do this one as realistic. That works for me. So we're going to create this uh, a mountainscape of snowy mountain peaks, hopefully with lightning in the sky. Now, this is going to go ahead and generate. I will leave this one running while it generates the first time. Now, you're going to think to yourself, wow, that is fast. It is like 75% done. No, no, no. This is very much a uh, progress bar in the uh, Microsoft design of progress bar, meaning it's pretty much meaningless. Now, when it does get to here, uh, it means that it's done. Uh, but the process of getting to here from here is not a linear process. Process. It's not bad. Okay, so that was the speed, and here is the result we got. And as you can see, you could immediately throw this into your title. Now, this is a bit of a mistake, these foreground objects, because you don't want, uh, generally when creating um, skyboxes like this, you want everything to be a little bit in the background, so nothing that you know that is of a fixed size, because it can throw you off in your brain. But there, that is a skybox that is generated here, and you can go ahead and use this guy like so. Go ahead and download that guy down. Uh, it comes down as, uh, just I think it was a JPEG file, and now let's uh, let's go see how you use this. I'll come back and show you some more features of this tool. So here we are. Uh, the game engine created a 3d scene here the big thing you're going to want to do and and this is going to be different this works with any game engine out there they all have a different approach to this we're going to go ahead and create a world environment and in said world environment create a new environment and then this is the background the background mode we're going to use is of type sky like so this gives us the option to create a sky and we'll go ahead and create a new sky the sky type is of panorama sky material like so Open that guy up, and we can bring an image in right here. So go to our Downloads folder uh, right here, and there is our new image. Should, in theory, be able to drag that guy in like so. And then once that is defined, you drop this here like so. And boom, you have this infinite background in your world. The cool thing here is this actually will give off reflections and so on. So if I create something in the world... Uh, such as, say, a sphere mesh. So let's do a mesh instance 3D, like so. Create a new mesh of type sphere. And there it is in our world. Uh, we go ahead on this guy and set up the material on it. So let's go down here, create a new material. This is a standard material. Let's edit our material and make it so that it is reflective. So this is going to be very metallic and not very rough, like so. So now we have reflections in our world. So here is our object in the world and let's add in a reflection probe so reflection probe like so all right so that is all right that's on the outside that should work okay and now i would have thought that that would be done already and now if i go to our roughness and we make it less rough there you see the world environment reflected in our object so you can easily again the world is not moving. Everything around the outside edge, the entire map doesn't move. You can see it is entirely reflected in the object in the middle. So again, this is a way of having an infinite amount of space in your world. Uh, pretty cool. By the way, you probably wouldn't want to use lightning in it because these are not animated maps. So that is how you would go ahead and use these, at least in one particular game engine. Now let's look at a couple of the more advanced features here. So we go back here to create new. 
Let's go back here, get this started again. So we're gonna do a remix here. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna do this one instead in the cyberpunk genre, uh, uh, a futuristic uh, Tokyo full of advertisements. Uh, I'll do neon, neon advertisements. All right, so now what we can do here is actually guide it how we wish to have it create. So we've got a number of drawing tools over here. So let's just say I want to do so there is, I don't know, I think it'll pick that up as a building. Another building. Let's do a building with a cutout of it. By the way, you can hold down the space bar and spin without editing like I unfortunately did right there. I'll go ahead and use that guy. I could have also gone up here and done the erase and gotten rid of that. And control over your brush over here, undo, redo over there. You can also, instead of being working on a sphere, you could work it on a cube map or on a, um, the, see the skybox itself or the plane grid there. Uh, so yeah, there is our particular guidance for this guy. And then now we're going to go ahead and generate it. So this is going to take our guidelines and do something with them. I'm going to pause it while it generates and I will be right back. Okay, so here is our generated world. This is what it did with our drawn in lines. So you see those are the shapes that fed whatever this generation was. But you can use guidelines to actually direct it. It will be more useful if your input prompt was, uh, you know, uh, more specific towards what those shapes were going to do. But here you can see the cyberspace kind of world environment that it created for us. And then the... Uh, the, the drawings that I did here and their impact on how the world was generated. So you can guide things as well. By the way, if you like what's going on here, uh, you can also do a remix. And more or less, this is sort of taking uh, the same thing and, you know, the same inputs, the same feeds, the same text, and then basically just making uh, new renditions of it. So if you didn't like what it particularly did the one time, just basically come in here, do a remix on it, and then boom, comes out another style. So here is our remixed result. Again, very similar. Uh, just it did something slightly different with our generator, as you can see over here. And uh, yeah, so basically until you get the result you want, you can just keep popping it and popping it and popping it and popping it. Uh, and the other thing uh, that is nice about this is since you're creating skyboxes, generally it's the background that you're more interested in. So it would almost be nice if you could almost specify, you know, not to do anything in this immediate foreground space. Uh, but I imagine with prompts you can do that. By the way, if you want to start focusing things out of your world, uh, you do have that option down here. So you can do negative text and describe what you don't want in your world as well as part of your generator. And again, there are a variety of different styles here. So if we prefer, here is a pen and ink rendition of this remixed. And here it is in a hand-drawn style using ink. Now, interestingly enough, this one decided to throw masses and throngs of people in it, like what you see here. Uh, which is actually kind of, again, a no-no in a skybox because you um, generally don't want people to have a, a close-in reference to the size of something. But I gotta say, the results are really cool. I, I think this whole project is actually pretty cool. And again, once you've got what you want down, go ahead and download it like this, and it brings down as a JPEG image that looks like this. So obviously it's got the distortions to represent a uh, panoramic 360 degree view. Uh, and you already saw how to use it in a game engine. Obviously you can use it in Unreal Unity or various other different game engines. I showed Godot in this particular example, really easy to actually use in an engine itself. So a very cool tool uh, available again from a blockaidlabs.com. You go check out their website. You can learn a little bit more about them as well. They do have an API available. So if you want to programmatically create these, that is an option. This is a sign up thing. Um, you can try it completely free. You can use the results commercially. Uh, and you can see from this website, it, it does create a variety of different results in a variety of different art styles. And some of them look damn good. Now, some of them are going to look horrible. That's the nature of AI generators. And one of the cool things that they've got here is they've also got this add to this feature. And I'd be interested to see when that is added in. Uh, so then you'll be able to tweak to the results or keeping the base results and adding in, drawing in the shapes you wish to have or remove from it. That will make it even cooler. So anyways, that is the Skybox Generator from Blockade Labs. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.